The phonology of Italian describes the sound system the phonology and phonetics of standard Italian and its geographical variants. Consonants Notes Between two vowels, or between a vowel and an approximant or a liquid, L, R, J, with, consonants can be both singleton or geminated. Geminated consonants shorten the preceding vowel or block phonetic lengthening and the first geminated element is unreleased. For example, compare, fado, fa to, fate, with, fato, fato, fact. However, are always geminated word internally. Similarly, nasals, liquids, and sibilants are pronounced slightly longer in medial consonant clusters. J, with, and z are the only consonants that cannot be geminated. T, d are laminal denti alveolar t, d, commonly called dental for simplicity. K are pre-velar before i, e, j. T, s, d, z, s, z have two variants. Dentalized laminal alveolar t, s, d, z, s, z, commonly called dental, for simplicity, pronounced with the blade of the tongue very close to the upper front teeth, with the tip of the tongue resting behind lower front teeth. Non-retracted apical alveolar t, s, d, z, s, z. The stop components of the apical affricates is actually laminal denti alveolar. N, l, r, are apical alveolar n, l, R in most environments. The first two are pronounced as laminal denti alveolar and L before T, D, T, S, D, Z, S, Z, and palatalized laminal postalveolar and L before T, D. N has a velar allophone before K per meter, and N do not contrast before P, B, and F, V, where they are pronounced M and respectively. In a large number of accents, is a fricative. Some accents from central Italy do not have the sound, instead, it is pronounced as j, or, sometimes, r, is usually realized as a monovibrant trill or tap, intervocalically. This can also occur elsewhere, particularly in unstressed syllables. The distinction between s and z is neutralized before consonants and at the beginning of words, the former is used before voiceless consonants and before vowels at the beginning of words, the latter is used before voiced consonants meaning z is an allophone of s before voiced consonants. It can only contrast between two vowels within a word. According to Kanapari, though, the traditional standard has been replaced by a modern neutral pronunciation which always prefers z, when intervocalic, except when the intervocalic s is the initial sound of a word, if the compound is still felt as such, for example, presento, pre-esento, I foresee, with pre-meaning before and sento meaning I see versus presento, presento, I present. There are many words in which dictionaries now indicate that both pronunciations with z, and with s, are acceptable. The two phonemes have merged in many regional varieties of Italian, either into Z, Northern Central, or S, Southern Central. <laughs> Vowels In Italian there is no phonemic distinction between long and short vowels, but vowels in stressed open syllables, unless word final, are long at the end of the intonational phrase including isolated words or when emphasized. Adjacent identical vowels found at morpheme boundaries are not resyllabified, but pronounced separately, quickly rearticulated, and they might be reduced to a single short vowel in rapid speech, although Italian contrasts close mid, e, o, and open mid, vowels in stressed syllables, this distinction is neutralized in unstressed position, where only the close mid-vowels occur. The height of these vowels in unstressed position is context-sensitive, they are somewhat lowered e, o, in the vicinity of more open vowels. The distinction between close mid and open mid-vowels is lost entirely in a few southern varieties, especially in the northern Sicilian dialect Palermo, where they are realized as open mid as well as in some northern varieties in particular in Piedmont, where they are realized as mid e, o. Word final stressed is found in a small number of words, puro, co, geo, short for joia, and the first person singular future of all verbs and the third person singular preterite of most verbs. Word final unstressed, u, is rare. 
Major exceptions are onomatopoeic terms babao, loanwords guru, and place or family names of Sardinian origin Janargentu, Porsu, when the last phoneme of a word is an unstressed vowel and the first phoneme of the following word is any vowel, the former vowel tends to become non-syllabic. This phenomenon is called sinalefa and should be taken into account when counting syllables, e.g. in poetry. In addition to monophthongs, Italian has diphthongs, but these are both phonemically and phonetically simply combinations of the other vowels, with some being very common e.g., i, o, others being rarer e.g., i, and some never occurring within native Italian words e.g., o. None of these diphthongs are however considered to have distinct phonemic status because their constituents do not behave differently than they would in isolation and all occur in isolation, unlike the diphthongs in some languages like English and German. Grammatical tradition makes a distinction between falling and rising diphthongs, however, since rising diphthongs are composed of one semiconsonantal sound J or W and one vowel sound, they are not actually diphthongs. The practice of referring to them as diphthongs has been criticized by phoneticians like Luciano Canapari. <laughs> Phonotactics Topic. Onset Italian allows up to three consonants in syllable initial position, though there are limitations, cc s plus any voiceless stop or f, e.g. spavento fright, z plus any voiced stop, vd, m and lr, e.g. schrotolaire unroll, fv, or any stop plus, r, e.g. frana landslide, FV, or any stop except TD, plus L, e.g. Platano, plain tree, FVSZ, or any stop or nasal plus J with e.g. Fiume, river, vuale, he, she wants, siamo, we are, suono, sound. In words of foreign mostly Greek origin which are only partially assimilated, other combinations such as pn, e.g. pneumatico, Minnesota, e.g. mnemonico, tm, e.g. tmesi, and ps, e.g. pseudo occur, ccc, s, plus voiceless stop or f, plus r, e.g. spregiare to despise, s, plus pk, plus l, e.g. sclerosi, sclerosis, z, plus voiced stop plus r. E.g. sabrachiato with bare arms, estreare to lay down, escrever to relieve. Z plus B plus L. E.g. sublocato unblocked. F.V. or any stop plus R plus J with. E.g. priego antiquated form of prego. I pray proprio ones own proper properly pruovo antiquated form of provo. I try. F.V. or any stop or nasal plus with plus J. E.g. quieto, quiet, continuamo, we continue. The last combination is, however, rare, and one of the approximants is often vocalized. E.g. quieto, quitu, kwi two, continuamo, conti nw jamo, continue jamo, continui amo. As an onset, the cluster s plus voiceless consonant is inherently unstable. Phonetically, word internal s plus c syllabifies as s, c, ars, po, raspo, toad, tros, te, ve. re, trastevere, neighborhood of Rome. The same phonetic syllabification occurs at word boundaries if a vowel precedes the cluster without pause, e.g., loss, t. rea, la storia, the history, implying the same syllable break at the structural level, s tria, thus always latent due to the extrasyllabic, s, but in realized phonetically unless a vowel precedes. A competing analysis accepts that while the syllabification, s, c, is accurate historically, modern retreat of i prosthesis before word initial, s, plus c, e.g. erstwhile con isforzo with effort has generally given way to con sf orzo suggests that the structure is now underdetermined, with occurrence of, s, c, or, s, c, variable according to the context and the idiosyncratic behavior of the speakers. Topic. Nucleus The nucleus is the only mandatory part of a syllable for instance, a to, at is a word and must be a vowel or a diphthong. In a falling diphthong the most common second elements are, i, or, u, but other combinations such as idea, ida, tre, tre, may also be interpreted as diphthongs. 
Combinations of J with with vowels are often labeled diphthongs, allowing for combinations of J with with falling diphthongs to be called triphthongs. One view holds that it is more practical to label J with as consonants and JVWV as consonant vowel sequences rather than rising diphthongs. In that interpretation, Italian has only falling diphthongs phonemically at least, cf. Cineresis and no triphthongs. Topic. Coda A coda is permissible only in the case of monophthong nuclei, and can be one of R, e.g. per for, party part L, e.g. al to the, alto high N, e.g. con with, canto count, which undergoes assimilation if a consonantal onset follows, e.g. un poco um pico a little per meter e.g. compro I buy, ampio ample s e.g. costa coast, rasrello rake an occlusive or fricative usually creating gemination with the following syllable onset e.g. tudo everything, avertire to warn topic <laughs> syntactic gemination Word initial consonants are geminated after certain vowel final words in the same prosodic unit. There are two types of triggers of gemination, some unstressed particles, prepositions, and other monosyllabic words, and any oxytonic polysyllabic word. As an example of the first type, casa house is pronounced casa, but a casa homeward is pronounced ak casa. This is not a purely phonological process, as no gemination is cued by the la in la casa the house la casa, and there is nothing detectable in the structure of the preposition a to account for the gemination. This type normally originates in language history. Modern a, for example, derives from Latin ad, and today's geminate in ac casa is a continuation of what was once a simple assimilation. Gemination cued by final stressed vowels, however, is transparently phonological. Final stressed vowels are short by nature, if a consonant follows a short stressed vowel the syllable must be closed, thus the consonant following the final stressed vowel is drawn to lengthen, parlo portoguese par el piporto e z s, he spoke portuguese versus parlo portoguese parlo porto e z s, he speaks portuguese. <laughs> Regional variation The above IPA symbols and description refer to standard Italian, based on a somewhat idealized version of the Tuscan-derived national language. As is common in many cultures, this single version of the language was pushed as neutral, proper, and eventually superior, leading to some stigmatization of varying accents. Television news anchors and other high-profile figures had to put aside their regional Italian when in the public sphere. However, in more recent years the enforcement of this standard has fallen out of favor in Italy, and news reporters, actors, and the like are now more free to deliver their words in their native regional variety of Italian, which appeals to the Italian population's range of linguistic diversity. The variety is still not represented in its wholeness and accents from the South are maybe to be considered less popular, except in shows set in the South and in comedy, a field in which Naples, Sicily and the South in general have always been present. Though it still represents the basics for the standard variety, the loosened restrictions have led to Tuscan being seen for what it is, just one dialect among many with its own regional peculiarities and qualities, many of which are shared with Umbria, southern Marche and northern Lazio. In Tuscany though not in standard Italian, which is derived from, but not equivalent to, Tuscan dialect, voiceless stops become fricatives between vowels. That is, ptk. Theta H, X, E G I Capitani, the captains, I high theta a knee. In a much more widespread area of central Italy, postalveolar affricates are deaffricated when intervocalic so that in China, in China is pronounced in T, I na, but La China, the China is li na. Since surfaces as long post vocalically, this can produce minimal pairs distinguished only by length of the word initial consonant, lay na la sina versus lay na la sina. In non-standard varieties of central and southern Italian, some stops at the end of a syllable completely assimilate to the following consonant. 
For example, a Venetian might say tecnica as tecnica or tienica in violation of normal Italian consonant contact restrictions, while a Florentine would likely pronounce tecnica as tienia, a Roman on a range from tienanica to tienina in southern Italian. Complex clusters usually are separated by a vowel. A Neapolitan would say tecnic, a Sicilian tecinca. Similarly, although the cluster per not has developed historically as tt through assimilation, a learned word such as ictus will be pronounced itis by some, ictus by others. In popular non-Tuscan central and southern Italian speech, b and d tend to always be geminated bb and dd when between two vowels or a vowel and a sonorant j with l or r. Sometimes this is also used in written language, e.g. writing raba instead of roba property, to suggest a regional accent, though this spelling is considered incorrect. In Tuscany intervocalic non-geminated d is realized as whereas intervocalic non-geminated t is realized as as in parts of centro-southern Italy. The two phonemes, s, and, z, have merged in many varieties of Italian, when between two vowels word internally, it tends to always be pronounced z in northern Italy, and s in central and southern Italy except in the Arboracea community. A notable example is the word casa house, in northern Italy it is pronounced casa, in southern central Italy it's pronounced casa. In several southern varieties, voiceless stops tend to become voiced if following a sonorant, as an influence of the still largely spoken regional languages. Campo, campo, may be pronounced cambo, and Antonio, and Tienjo, can be realized and Topic: <laughs> Phonological development Very little research has been done on the earliest stages of phonological development in Italian. This article primarily describes phonological development after the first year of life. See the main article on phonological development for a description of first year stages. Many of the earliest stages are thought to be universal to all infants. Topic: <laughs> Phoneme inventory. Word final consonants are rarely produced during the early stages of word production. Consonants are usually found in word initial position, or in intervocalic position. Topic. 17 months Most consonants are word initial, they are the stops, p, b, t, and, k, and the nasal per meter. A preference for a front place of articulation is present. Topic. 21 months More phones now appear in intervocalic contexts. The additions to the phonetic inventory are the voiced stop, d, the nasal, n, the voiceless affricate, t, and the liquid, l. Topic. 24 months The fricatives, f, v, and, s, are added, primarily at the intervocalic position. <laughs> 27 months Approximately equal numbers of phones are now produced in word initial and intervocalic position. Additions to the phonetic inventory are the voiced stop, and the consonant cluster, kw. While the word initial inventory now tends to have all the phones of the adult targets adult production of the child's words, the intervocalic inventory tends to still be missing four consonants or consonant clusters of the adult targets, f, d, r, and per stone. Stops are the most common manner of articulation at all stages and are produced more often than they are present in the target words at around 18 months. Gradually this frequency decreases to almost target-like frequency by around 27 months. The opposite process happens with fricatives, affricates, laterals and trills. Initially, the production of these phonemes is significantly less than what is found in the target words and the production continues to increases to target-like frequency. Alveolars and bilabials are the two most common places of articulation, with alveolar production steadily increasing after the first stage and bilabial production gently decreasing. Labiodental and postalveolar production increases throughout development, while velar production decreases. Topic: Phonotactics. Topic: 
Topic: Syllable structures. Topic: 6 to 10 months. Babbling becomes distinct from previous, less structured vocal play. Initially, syllable structure is limited to CVCV, called reduplicated babbling. At this stage, children's vocalizations have a weak relation to adult Italian and the Italian lexicon. Topic: 11 to 14 months. The most used syllable type changes as children age, and the distribution of syllables takes on increasingly Italian characteristics. This ability significantly increases between the ages of 11 and 12 months, 12 and 13 months, and 13 and 14 months. Consonant clusters are still absent. Children's first 10 words appear around month 12, and take CVCV format e.g. mama mother, papa father. Topic: 18 to 24 months. Reduplicated babbling is replaced by variegated babbling, producing syllable structures such as C1VC2V, e.g. cane, dog, topo, mouse. Production of trisyllabic words begins, e.g. pecora, sheep, matita, pencil. Consonant clusters are now present, e.g. bimba, female child, venti, 20. Ambient language plays an increasingly significant role as children begin to solidify early syllable structure. Syllable combinations that are infrequent in the Italian lexicon, such as velar labial sequences e.g. capra goat or gamba leg are infrequently produced correctly by children, and are often subject to consonant harmony. <laughs> Stress patterns In Italian, stress is lexical, meaning it is word-specific and partly unpredictable. Penultimate stress, primary stress on the second to last syllable, is also generally preferred. This goal, acting simultaneously with the child's initial inability to produce polysyllabic words, often results in weak syllable deletion. The primary environment for weak syllable deletion in polysyllabic words is word initial, as deleting word final or word medial syllables would interfere with the penultimate stress pattern heard in ambient language. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Phonological awareness. Children develop syllabic segmentation awareness earlier than phonemic segmentation awareness. In earlier stages, syllables are perceived as a separate phonetic unit, while phonemes are perceived as assimilated units by coarticulation in spoken language. By first grade, Italian children are nearing full development of segmentation awareness on both syllables and phonemes. Compared to those children whose mother tongue exhibits closed syllable structure CVC, CCVC, CVCC, etc., Italian-speaking children develop this segmentation awareness earlier, possibly due to its open syllable structure CVCV, CVCVCV, etc. Rigidity in Italian shallow orthography and open syllable structure makes it easier for Italian-speaking children to be aware of those segments. Sample texts Provided here is a rendition of the Bible, Luke chapter 2, 1-7, as read by a native Italian speaker from Milan. As a northerner, his pronunciation lacks syntactic doubling fu fato instead of fu f fato and intervocalic s ca za instead of ca sa. The speaker realizes, r, as, in some positions. 2 to 1 in quei giorni, un decreto di Cesare Augusto ordineva che si facesse un sensimento di tutta la terra. 2 questo primo sensimento fu fatto quando Quirino era governatore della Siria, 3 tutti andavano a farsi registrare, ciascuno nella propria città. 4 anche Giuseppe, che era della casa e della famiglia di Davide, dalla città di Nazareth e dalla Galilea si rico in Judea nella città di Davide, chiamata Betlame, 5 per farsi registrare insieme a Maria, sua sposa, che era incinta. 6 proprio mentor si trovavano lì, ven il tempo per lei di partorir. 7 Mise al mondo il suo primogenito, lo avulse in fasci e lo depose in una mangiatoia, poiche non sera posto per loro nella laconda. 
The differences in pronunciation are underlined in the following transcriptions. The velar is an allophone of n, and the long vowels are allophones of the short vowels, but are shown for clarity. A rough transcription of the audio sample is 2 to 1 I qui dorni un de cri to di te zero o justo ordi na va k c f a se un ten c mento di tuta la tre tu questu pri mo ten c mento fu fato quando k w i re no e ra overna to re della c r j a three tutti and da vano a farsi ready stra re ta skew no nella pr pr j a tit ta fora k du spe k e ra della ca za e della f a mia d da V dala tit ta di nadzare e dala ali la asi re k in du de anela tit ta di da vid k j a ma ta betel me five per farsi ready stra re in s j e mi a ma re a s w a s p za k e ra in tinta six p r p r j o mentor c tro v a vano li vin il tempo per l i d parto re re seven mi z al mano il s w o primo di nito lo avenue vil se i fe e lo de posi in u na manda t ya poi k non te ra pisto per lo ro nella lo kanda. The standard Italian pronunciation of the text is 2 to 1 I que dorni un de cri to di te zero o justo ordi na va k s s i f a tes un ten si mento di tuta la tre tu questo pri mo ten si mento fu f fato quando k w i re no ra overna to re della c r j a three tutti and da vano a f farsi ready stra re ta skew no nella pr pr j a tit ta for a k du spe k ra della ca sa e d della f a mia d da v dala tit ta d D I Nadzare E D Dala Ali L A C Re K in Du D A Nella Tit Ta D D I Da Vid K J A Ma Ta Betel Me Five Per Farsi Ready Stra Re In S J Mia M M A Re A Sua S P Za K Ra In Tinta Six P R P R J O Mentor C Tro V A Vano Li Ven Il Tiempo Per Li D Parto Re Re Seven Me Se Al Mondo Il Suo Primo D Nito Lo Avenue Vil Se I Fe E L L O De Po Se In U Na Manda To Ya poi knnont ra posto per lo ro nella lo kanda. See also Italian orthography, Italian language, Italian grammar, Syntactic gemination, Wikipedia help page for IPA for Italian, includes English approximations. Italian Pronunciation Guide at Wiktionary <laughs>